Update. Am I the a-hole for not giving my brother a place to stay? Original post. A little backstory is important here. I, 25 female, am the youngest of four and my parents' only daughter. My two oldest brothers, 37 male and 35 male, are the best. My other brother, 33 male, we will call him Adam for the story, literally hates my guts and always has. He has always hated how much attention I get from my dad, even though he gets babied by our mom. He would torture me when I was little by locking me in a closet or sitting on me until I couldn't breathe. I was sort of a brain in school and Adam bullied me constantly for it. But I've finished high school when I was 16 and now I have three different degrees. I'm a private financial advisor and I've done well for myself. My two oldest brothers both own their own businesses and they have a comfortable life. Adam did not go to college, even when my parents offered to pay for it. And he's a bartender. He has never moved out of our parents' house because he spends every cent he makes. He has never paid bills either. He got fired from his fifth bar last week for being drunk during work. My parents wanted to have family dinner, but I was reluctant due to Adam always berating me and making fun of me. My dad said he really wanted this, so I gave in. When we were all at our parents' for dinner, my mother brought up the idea of Adam living in one of my rental properties. I only have two, and one a family lives in and the other a woman and her daughter are about to move into, so both are occupied. I explained this to my mother, and Adam suggested I just break one of their leases and let him move in. I told him no. He asked why, and I said it was wrong, and also he isn't responsible, so I don't trust him to pay rent on time. He laughed, and asked why he would need to pay rent. I told him to drop it especially if he was expecting a free ride, but he kept pestering me and trying to persuade me. I finally told him it wasn't my responsibility to take care for him, and he needs to figure it out. I also told him he has never been kind to me, so he shouldn't feel entitled to anything. My mom started yelling at me, saying I was disrespectful and I need to help when family asks. I told her she created this monster so she can deal with it. I left shortly after. My mom and Adam have been blowing up my phone calling me every name in the book. My dad and my other two brothers are on my side. Of course, Adam is telling anyone who will listen that my dad is just backing me up because I'm his favorite and he's continuing to call me names. The drama is starting to mess with me and I just want peace. He sent me a text saying that I don't know what it's like being the black sheep and I should help him when he's down because that's what family does. So, I need an unbiased opinion. Am I the a-hole for not giving him a place to stay? Now, for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole from the beginning but especially when he laughed and asked why would he need to pay rent. That. Knew that was coming. I bet he doesn't clean either and either mummy will do it or the property will be a total mess. Oh no, I've been in this situation. Your parents are sick of him. They don't want to deal with him anymore. Once he's in your rental home, it's going to be your responsibility. Do not do it under any circumstance. You should emotionally detach from all of this. Who cares who's on whose side or who says what? They're all trying to make him your responsibility. You are not his parent, nor even a close sibling. It's manipulation, and once you emotionally can get to a place where you legit don't care what anyone has to say about it, then they'll figure out the great plan of dumping this grown man into your orbit so they can all relax and he'll be your problem is not going to work. It will go away. You're a smart woman. Continue being smart. You know you aren't the a-hole. Just stay strong. Thank you. I'm gonna stick to my guns and go no contact with my brother. Not the a-hole. Your parents are trying to get rid of him and make him your problem. He doesn't want to pay rent. How well do you think he would treat your property once he moved in? You worked hard for your properties. He's done nothing with his life, treated you poorly, and now wants you to help him? It's not your problem nor responsibility. Don't let that change. Not the a-hole. Your mom just wants him out of her house. Your properties have tenants who actually pay rent. Adam is not a black sheep. He is the a-hole. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. They're tired of him. Not the a-hole. His unhinged reaction just proved why he'd be an awful freeloading roommate. The fact that he's never treated you well isn't going to change overnight under your roof. I see him being even more insulting and cruel when things don't go his way, or you ask him to clean up after himself. Your mom can pounce hand too. She never took him to task when he was a bully to you at a younger age and continues to cater to him now. She can house him on her dime. Now for the update half a month later. I want to thank you all for the kind and supportive comments. The past two weeks have been a huge roller coaster for my family. What I didn't mention in my first post was that I always felt weird about how protective my mother is of Adam. In my opinion, she took every opportunity to isolate him, but when I'd try to talk to him, he'd lash out. My older brothers feel the same way, but when they try and talk to Adam, 
he'd get angry. So my two oldest brothers and I were hanging out at my place when I heard banging on my door. It was Adam and he was wasted. I let him sleep it off in my guest room and I told him he'd have to leave when he sobered up. I went into the room after a few hours to check on him and he was crying. He said our mother supplied him with alcohol it always does when he's home. He kept apologizing to me and sobbing. My brothers came in and my oldest brother told him he needs to be honest and tell us what's going on. Adam admitted our mother has been treating him like her boyfriend since he was a teen. That's when she started giving him alcohol. It all clicked for me. Our dad worked constantly so he wasn't home, and my mom would always say Adam was being punished for something while my brothers were allowed to go out. My mom would let me watch movies in my room all night long and she'd disappear. Adam said she'd make him cuddle with her and have dinner with her like it was a date. She discussed her and my dad's marital problems with him. If he didn't comply, she wouldn't let him leave the house at all, and she'd continue to lie and say he was being punished. She told him over and over how none of us would believe him, so he never felt safe to tell us. She went as far as to steal from our dad and blame Adam, so our dad always thought Adam was dishonest. He said she never did anything sexual to him, but apparently that's why she wanted him to have my place, so they could be alone. He said she told him what to say to me, and he made a statement about rent on purpose so I wouldn't do it. We hugged him for a long time and he just cried and apologized. My siblings and I were seeing red at this point, and we all agreed Adam needed to tell our dad. We invited my dad over and we stood with Adam while he told our dad everything. Our dad hugged Adam and kept apologizing to him and he'd said he'd handle it. I don't know exactly what was said to my mother, but she moved out and is living in a hotel. My dad has already filed for divorce and she is not fighting him. We tried to talk to her, but she told us all to go to hell and that we took her one good thing away. She also said Adam belongs to her and she can do what she wants. It's taking everything in me to hold it together because she destroyed my brother with her crap and destroyed our relationship with him. Adam said he just wants to get better and he wants to be a family with us. I can't lie, I was really happy and we are all so proud of him. He hasn't taken a drink since that night and he's currently in rehab. When he's done, he is going to move into a condo my dad is trying to buy. My dad is selling the family house so he will be living with Adam so he isn't alone. Adam gets to call us every day and he always wants to talk to me. It's like we are getting to know each other for the first time and it's been great. He keeps apologizing to me but honestly, I've already forgiven him. I know this wasn't the update anyone was expecting and I'm still in shock. I'm not going to update anymore. I'm just going to focus on our family's healing and hopefully we can all be in a good place one day. Man, I really was not expecting this update. There is a special place in hell for your mom. Shaking my head. I pray that Adam continues to get the help he needs and your siblings continue to build a positive relationship. Your dad sounds like a rock star, by the way. Yeah, he's doing everything he can for all of us. I don't think it's really hit him yet. I feel like when it does, he will really need us. I would have your mom brought up in charges and a restraining order against her seeing your brother or any of you. This woman is a pedophile. Her saying Adam was her one good thing and belongs to her is a huge red flag. She could escalate this to very dangerous levels. Adam does not want to do any of that right now. My dad's good friend is a cop and he has been given all the details. I don't know exactly what will happen with that, but my dad isn't going to let this go. We are respecting Adam and hopefully when he is in a better place, he will change his mind. I am so glad for Adam to get the help he desperately needs and that you all are so supportive of him. He'll need all the family support you can give him. Your mom really messed him mentally up bad. This kind of thing will affect him for the rest of his life. Your mom is also mentally sick for doing this to him. I don't know if she can be arrested for what she did to him. He may be able to sue her for that mental state he's in. I'd check with an attorney to see if he has a case. Good luck to your family. Thank you. When he's further in his recovery, we are most likely going to pursue some form of legal action. Next story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to buy baby items for my sister? Having a baby is the life I signed up for. Me 26 female and my 26 male boyfriend decided to be child-free. We have many reasons, and one of them is that we can't afford it. My younger sister, 25, had a baby not too long ago. Everyone got her everything she needed, including me, for the baby shower. She refuses to get a job, even a part-time one. She was so sure that she was going to get like $1,000 in child support a week from her ex and was going to live off that. That didn't happen. She gets under $200 every two weeks. She's been asking the family for help. Our older sister, 29, helps sometimes but she doesn't like to. I've bought formula on one occasion because of course I'm not gonna let my nephew starve. 
Well, she keeps asking for more and more. And I told her I'm not paying for her baby. I can't afford it. And if I wanted to buy baby things, I'd have one of my own. The whole family blew up at me. Every single one is arguing with me. And only my boyfriend agrees with me. I just need some more opinions, I guess. She's asking for basic things like diapers, formula, wipes, the works. Nothing bad. But I'm not here to support a baby that isn't mine. And I can't afford. Am I the a-hole? Edit. She has food stamps. She says WIC isn't worth anything. She lives with our mother, who is also unemployed. If you're wondering how the bills get paid, my mother has an old man obsessed with her and he gives her bill money. Every now and then, he will give her 20 or $50. I've been telling her there's a factory in her town that has part-time with benefits. I literally gave her my old car for free when she had a baby. There's someone to watch her child if she does work. There's nothing stopping her. I can't answer why she won't work. I know why our mom won't, lol. Now for the comments. She can get a job and support her child, not the a-hole. Standing firm in your decision not to financially support your sister's choices is a valid and responsible stance. It's crucial for your family to understand the importance of personal accountability. You're not obligated to financially support your sister's choices. It's essential to prioritize your own financial stability. Stay firm in your decision. It's not your responsibility to cover her expenses. Of course, you are not the a-hole. For all of the family members who are blowing up at you, every time your sister calls you and asks you for something, tell her you can't. But you will text the rest of the family and tell them what she needs. And then do it. Every single time. They will get tired of it soon enough. And when they come back to you and tell you how it's your turn to help, you can tell them that you very specifically don't have children because A. You don't want them and B. You can't afford them. Which means you certainly can't afford your sisters. But that if they'll get on her butt for her to get a job, you might be more inclined to give her a little bit of help. And then let it be. And every time somebody calls you to itch about it, just tell them, you know how I feel. Talk to you later. And hang the phone up. Again, every single time. OP, I just saw your edit. The reason your sister won't work is because that is exactly what she has learned from your mother. Dare I say that you are gainfully employed and married simply because that's who you are. You are not following in your mother's footsteps. My brother-in-law, sister's husband, is a hard-working man who provides for his family. His parents don't appreciate him because that is not how he was raised. His brother, on the other hand, is a lazy bum who can't keep a job, just like their parents. And this is the guy the parents tout like he is the second coming. Last story. Am I the a-hole for canceling my own debt to my brother after I let his kids run amok with my art supplies? I currently owe my brother around $300. He fronted me some money for a family vacation and said I could pay him back in December, three paycheck month. My husband and I are hosting a small Thanksgiving this year with the family members who live within driving distance, and my brother's family arrived on Monday to stay through the weekend. His two kids, three and six, are generally well-behaved, but they're still kids, so I let him know to keep them out of the bonus room, currently half finished, and my craft room. You all know where this is going, so I just cut to the chase. I came home yesterday to find the kids played out on the living room floor, surrounded by art supplies in ruined condition. They were finger painting with my gouache and had completely cross-contaminated the colors, drawn in my good watercolor paper with Copic markers, completely crushing the tips of the markers as well and ruined or dirtied several items that my friend had brought me from Korea. I confronted my brother was nonchalantly watching TV, and he told me that he didn't let the kids go into craft room. He had gone in himself and grabbed them just a couple things to entertain themselves with. He agreed to buy me replacements until I actually started tallying up the cost, and then backtracked and said the price was BS, and started insisting that most of the stuff was still in usable condition. I said, fine, you don't have to replace anything, but you can forget about the vacation money. He snapped at me to not argue in front of the kids. I said, who's arguing? Sounds like the conversation is over. Now he wants me to pay the vacation money immediately and work out the replacing of the art supplies after. I feel like he's just going to try to haggle me, or is going to try to replace my stuff with Crayola and call it even. Tell him that he'll take advantage of the current Black Friday sales to replace the numerous items he's told to give to his kids. And he can have any remainder after you replaced his stolen, destroyed items with other identical products or equivalent. But no more expensive products. Not the a-hole. In the future, you might want to pick up a few kid craft items when you're hosting kids. Yes, it absolutely should be the parents' responsibility, but it can be hard to have everything when you're traveling with small kids. A $10 box of somewhat similar, but much cheaper things to entertain the kids will keep any decent parent out of the rest.
and be met with gratitude, especially if you give them an idea about how expensive and or hard to replace your good stuff is. This is how I've dealt with my own nephews. I have stuff for them that is a small gift from Auntie Kelly, often including bargain items and my own cast-offs, and only bits of my personal stuff they get use or things that are hard to damage. I do have Play-Doh sets and Legos for the kids, but I will add some Crayola stuff once things have come down. Not the a-hole. It isn't your duty to entertain his kids. As a parent, I always brought activities for the kids. They're my kids, my problem. To be fair to the kids, it doesn't sound like they were misbehaving. It's the brother's fault for grabbing expensive things that weren't his and giving them to children. Exactly this. And if I wanted to invade a family member's craft supplies for my kids to use, I sure as heck would 